Hey guys, Night of Madness here, and finally with Dark Souls 3. Come on, Rick. The golden... I'm... I'm not Rick. Shut up, Rick. And we're why, we're why, watching why, the opening cutscene. I do not remember what enemies these uh, things in the opening cutscene remind me of, but they were from Dark Souls 2, and they remind me of... No, they were from Bloodborne. They remind me of those... things. Yeah, specific. Don't be too specific. Gotta get a little bit of Atlantic in there. And try not to speak too much during the opening cutscene. I'm trying not to, but... Are you making a char? Uh, no, I'm still in the opening cutscene and I just got to the saint of the deep guy. Alright. The Abyss Watchers. There's five of them. I was gonna say, is that gonna be like a throne watcher and defender mixed with Shadow of Yarnum, but not really. And finally, the giants we all know and love, the butthole faces. Yorm. Sounds suspiciously like Yorg. I remember this opening cutscene being like the E3 trailer. Opening cutscene's finally over. Okay. Getting ready. Um, I chose I, I chose Private Mancer. Now, I'm just gonna name my character what I usually name all of my characters in every single RPG I play ever. Which is Dark Souls and. No, literally every single RPG I play, even in like Fallout, its names look here. Oh. Alright, now... So basically Bethesda and From Software games, those just, are the ones you play. It, even in Dragon Age Origins, like, my name was Lakir too. Just everything that I can name my character, his name will be Lakir. Um, now, I believe for this, I might go Mercenary. Not sure. I might go Harold because he's a good, you know, balance of everything, I believe. Not really a balance, but I mean, I like him, don't you? Eh, I never played as him. Uh, I think I'll go as the Harold because, uh, you know, his armor's pretty decent, his weapons, it's pretty good. Well, you love the way his helmet looks though, don't you? I actually think I am going to go for the mercenary because I love dex builds. And well, then you could go assassin and get a little bit of sorcery in there. 
Yeah, but he doesn't have any, you know, offensive spells, which is what I really like most. My sorcery. I mean, right off the bat, he doesn't. Alright. Now, I know that I'm just gonna have long hair, because I have long hair. And I know what my character's gonna look like. They're gonna look like Jesus. I'm just using my same hair color in real life, and then adding a beard in my hairstyle, and suddenly I'm Jesus. So basically you in about 20 years? Uh, no, in 20 years I'm gonna be bald. <laughs> I mean, have you seen my hairline? I mean, viewers haven't, but yep. my hairline. Alright. I guess that's, you know, good. Good old mercenary. Well, I just killed that monster thing. I mean, the ice thingy. Yeah. It's, pr it's probably easier to kill than Uchi, man. It's... Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah, because it's a lot easier to dodge roll that one because there's a lot more space. And I had fireballs this time. I don't know. With the knight, I had so much poise, I could just kind of R1 spell. Alright, Cemetery of Ash. No, no, viewers, I have not gone too far in the game, but this is not my first uh, rodeo with the Cemetery of Ash. I haven't even gone... You pretty much got like five minutes past you, X Gundir. Yeah. And I already got hit once and I haven't even got my Ash and Essus Flask, so obviously I'm doing the best. Mm hmm. The best around, and nobody can keep you down. Exactly. Dude, I'm getting so many lucky parries, I have not missed one yet. With out of the two that I've tried. I kind of fear trying to parry. Because parry yeah, times are too a bit many weird. There's a lot of partials. Like, you can parry something and still take the damage, and it's an actual parry, so. Alright, I don't know, I haven't explored the Cemetery of Ash too much. It's not that big. But I just know that there's an ice thingy that way. And oh, and I have gotten really far in the game, any of you viewers. Mm-hmm. Well, from what we can tell. Yeah, we're because we're, we're not sure. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us has beaten it yet. But I heard Vadi Videos beat it, like, several times. Well, that guy lives in Australia, man. In Australia, there's not a lot to do. Yeah, good point. There's not a lot to do here, Sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry to all you Australians, there's just not a lot to do over there. I think they would agree. So, I mean, there's not much to do here. Fighting Udex Gundir. I mean, they can do that in Australia too, I don't see what your point is. Well, I'm fighting him without an Australian <laughs> accent. Okay, true. You know, not everyone over there has accents, but some of them have really bad ones. Oh yeah, Reese, you know my fatal flaw in playing games that I never finish them? Or at least in some of them. That I'm currently asking you a question, Reese. Oh. Uh, um, sorry, I wasn't paying attention because Udex. Uh, you know my fatal flaw sometimes uh, of not completing games? And what would that be? My, my fatal flaw of sometimes not completing games. Oh. I feel like that's How gonna that carry. I, I feel like that's gonna. Uh, I was asking if you know about it. Like. Oh, uh, no. Well, I, I believe it's gonna happen with the channel because I'm already like veering off the path of playing Metal Gear Solid 5 on the channel, and now I got Dark Souls 3 on my hands. So, I mean, yeah. Alright, come on, Udex. This isn't my first time fighting you. And I've got hit already. 
I think I might use the shield some. You chose Herald, correct? No, I chose Mercy oh, this time. I actually died. Hmm. I'm not used to the hand axe, though. I'm more of a sword person. I never liked... I, I... I never liked axes too much. I, I haven't used an axe in this game yet, at all, so... I'm just pointing that out you there to all you people who's gonna say I'm sucking at life. Used one. Is there not too many axes in this version? Or in, or what am I talking oh, there's in this plenty. Version? I just there, there's plenty. I just didn't use them because I upgraded my sword. You know what Udex Gundir's armor really reminds me of? The I don't know. The helmet kind of reminds me of the Eastern helm. No, I mean, it's not even from Dark Souls, but, like, his... N despite the helmet, his whole armor kind of reminds me of the Dwarven set from Skyrim. Oh, yeah, that reminds me of something. When I was going into Udexes once, um, somebody said try Dwarf. Oh, that uh, makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh, my lord, I died to him. I know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's that you know that people might watch this that you're, you know. Is that or you just got used to the Herald's 100% protect shield? No, I wasn't even using my shield. I don't know why I had it out. I don't know. Sometimes I do that because I like the one-handed moveset on my dark sword better. Sometimes. Because <laughs> the one-handed's more diagonal than vertical. So am I not gonna get a bunch of? F am I not gonna get a bunch of free hits off on him this time? This is actually the first time I died to him. Mhm. Mm Same for me. Uh, no, I'm not gonna get a bunch of free hits off. Nah. I'm taking all 200 it's of those souls nice. back. How much you want to bet most of the people who died to Udex Gundyr died because they tried to parry him? Uh, probably. Or they're just sucking nuts like us. I mean, we don't suck nuts. Come on. I mean, we don't suck nuts, but, I mean, it, it's an occasional thing. Oh my god, I got him to, like, get, a, get into a stagger, and I know I could have done a critical. But I realized that after I had pushed the long wind up R2. I absolutely hate this guy's second form. Oh, I almost got the thing. The guard break, I think it's called. I hate this second form. Form. I love the way it looks, but I hate fighting it. Yes, I mean it's kind. It's kind of really unpredictable. Right, yeah, well. I mean, it is really unpredictable. I don't All know. Right. It helps oh. a lot having fireballs. All right, well, it's dead. Well, that thing's dead. Good. Oh wait, there was a bonfire where he died. Forgot. I know that I'm gonna go and fight Uchi Gatana man. Bam, killed him. I, I fought them I fought Uchi Gatana man as the Herald viewers and uh <coughs> but what happened was I wish I recorded this. What happened was I poked him near the edge of like where the where the cliff was. Uh and then my stamina ran out, so I backed up a lot. Like to where the stairs were that were closest to him. He w I went back down, and he was still standing there, so I went over there. He didn't even try to attack, and I just poked him off again. I don't know. And then I called him a scrub. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see here. I just want to get that extra ember, because that's pretty helpful. I'm afraid the video clip's gonna cut, like, as soon as I start fighting. Alright, hey viewers, I messed up. 
Oh, well, I didn't mess up. PS Play PlayStation messed up because it did not save the video clip that I had when I fought the man with the Uchi Katana, and I had one of the best uh, war cries in my life. I literally charged to him and went, <laughs> and I killed him. And it was a very clutch moment, and it was hilarious, and I missed it, and you're never going to see it. Because I cannot he recreate it. Yeah, I became Satan. But, uh, anyways... Don't, don't worry, it'll be recreated in a few boss battles, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, I can guarantee that, but... Anyways, bye viewers, I hope you like this stupid video, because it's got cut.